Hey there YouTube and a boy back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you guys can customize your fingerprint sensor of any Android phone. Without food. Hey guys, you should hear from Android Boy Geek Expert. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so as you guys can see here, this is my Redmi Note 3. Now what you want to do here is just go to your browser and copy the link given in the description down below and paste it in the web bar. So this link will take you to the XDA developers page. Now scroll down at the bottom of the page and you will find something as FPQA APK. Just click on that and download will start automatically. After downloading, quickly install the app. One more thing, that you don't need any kind of root access to use this app. Isn't that cool? Anyways, now open up the application and click on Enable Fingerprint Quick Action. Allow the permission in accessibility. Hit back, come back to the app again. As you can see, now there are two options available, single tap and fast wipe. You can customize these two options for a desired fingerprint action. So now let's set an action for single tap. So as you saw, I opted for go home. That means when I tap this fingerprint sensor one time, it will take me to a home page from wherever I am. Now as you can see, I tapped the fingerprint sensor and it took me to home page. So let's see does fast swipe works. Yep, it does. As you clearly saw, I selected recent apps when I fast swipe on the sensor and it works all the time. Some features are still not working as of now but they will be fixed in next updates for sure. So that's pretty much for today's video. Hope you like this video. Share this video as much as you can. Come on guys, I made your fingerprint sensor so cool. If you did enjoy this video, do give it a huge thumbs up and if you didn't, don't worry, give it thumbs down. It keeps me motivating for sure. Until then, it's your friend Bhushan signing off and I'll catch you guys in the next one.